All right, what's up, guys? It's Stuffy again. Uh, so we're on episode, I believe, four, four or five of the uh, of the CEH labs. So this lab is going to be one of my favorites and probably one of yours if you actually mess around with it and figure out what all you can do with it. Um, we're going to go over Recon NG. If you guys aren't familiar, it's a very useful tool for gathering information on a target. Um, depending on how much you play with it is going to depend on how much you enjoy it because you may do one quick search and not find what you're looking for and think that uh, it's not that useful, but it actually you can change things dramatically and really get a lot of information um, from a lot of stuff. So I'm just going to show you guys the basics again show you how to use the tool, show you uh, some basic uh, modules that you can load to gather information on targets and things like that. So let's go ahead and hop into it. First thing you're going to do when you pull up is you're just going to do recon-ng and you're just going to hit start. It'll pull up. Uh, as you can see, I haven't downloaded everything. Um, you probably will if, you, if you're using this constantly. I only use this VM specifically for labs to show you guys. So Again, that's why you'll notice that a lot of stuff I don't update very often, things like that. So anyway, so this is what Recon NG looks like as default. You're going to get this little nice logo with the black hills, blah, blah, blah. Okay, now first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a workspace. Now you don't have to do this necessarily, but I would do this because it saves what you're doing. And it adds, it puts it basically into a workspace so that when you run a report later or something like that, uh, it'll work. So we'll do workspaces, add, and then we'll do, we'll just name this one Recon, it doesn't matter. Okay, so you see that it didn't load all this stuff. That's just because I don't have all the APIs for this. Um, obviously, you'd want to have all this stuff if you could because there's a lot of stuff in here like Twitter APIs, stuff like that, GitHub, Twitter, uh, Shodan's really big one, um, all that stuff that you'd be able to find some more information if you had. Uh, it's not a big deal. You can If you download the latest and all that stuff, you'll have all that. So. This is again just the basics, okay? And uh, so I've got a couple modules here I want to show you guys. So the first one we'll do is we'll just load. Uh, it's called it's recon domains contacts, and then it's who is. If you guys don't know what who is is, uh, a lot of tools use this. I believe Shodan uses it as well. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure it does. Okay, so there's there's a lot of databases that can pull from this who is or a lot of uh, tools I'm sorry that pull from this who is so that uh, you can gather information on people so it's a pretty common one so once you type in that load recon it's almost like a metasploit if you guys have ever messed with it you have to load a module in order to basically tell the tool what you want it to do right so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do show info and this is just gonna show what's needed so look the only only thing needed is a source okay and that's what I had it set at to show you guys so um, the lab itself will actually tell you facebook.com, but facebook.com's domain has very few users as far as an email. So I, I changed it to gamestop.com just because I've been I bought Call of Duty from GameStop the other day, so it made me think of it. But just to show you guys the difference, okay? So now you just run this, right? So you got the module. I already have the value in there, which the source, which is GameStop. So to do that, we'll do set source, and then I just do gamestop.com. Now, I'm not going to do it because it's already set there, but then you'd hit enter, and then it'd show it, you'd hit run, and you'll see, I'll have to actually end up stopping this because of how, mon how many there is. But we'll go ahead and stop it because this will run for a while. There's a lot here, so. Okay, so I stopped it, but you can see here, so Shelly Davis, Shelly Davis at GameStop.com has an email. You've got a bunch of Shelly Davises, okay? So these are all actually Shelly Davis. And then you got Edward Cox, Kevin Clark, um, Rodney Bird, Rob Burke, Todd Birdsong, Ishmael Alfaro. So these are just people with GameStop emails, okay? So they probably work for the company most likely or did at some point, right? So now if we did it before, let's say we had the company, right? Now we have a list of employees, at least employees, that have emails for your company okay so right off the bat we're getting great information because now we can send spoof emails to these people we can use their email against them to actually try and get a hold of someone else in the company I mean there's a million things we can do here but the point is we're getting this information without ever touching the host this is all uh, OSINT so this is all open source okay so now see it's still right here it's it says who is so we're gonna go back one so we're still in recon, but we don't have 
the uh, the module loaded in there. So now we're going to change it change it to a different one. We're going to do load, and then we're going to do recon domain, and then domains. Excuse me, and then it's contacts, and then it's who is. Okay, so now the only difference here is this one here. If you remember, it was showing us uh, basically people on that domain. Okay, this next one will actually tell me if someone exists. Okay, so the point of that, and I'll show you this here, is once we're actually in it, uh, let's see. I just typed the same one twice, I think I did, which is fine. So we're actually going to change that, so we're going to go back one more. I just typed it the same, same thing twice. So we're going to go back and we're going to say recon profiles this is what we wanted here so profiles profiles and you can get these um there's lists of these out there for recon mg or ng i said mg but anyway so now we're on the recon profiles name check so all this is going to do so for instance let's say let's find a guy edward cox okay that's a good name right edward cox so that's this we'll set Source, Edward, and this is probably for sure going to be one because that's a pretty common name. And then we'll run it. So you'll see there, all it does is tell us that that actually does exist. Okay. Now, I know that seems kind of silly, but if you only have one result in here, okay, that could be an old result and that person doesn't exist there anymore. Okay. Or it could be a false positive. It could be a million things. But you want to confirm if you're going to use that email against someone or if you're going to try and exploit something with that, that that's a real thing, okay? So that's all it is. You can also use this that same module to, let's say you're looking to see if Jim, you know, you work with a guy named Jim, you know he he's the, your target, whatever. You could try him and see if he has it before you run the whole thing, okay? So before you search an entire domain for one person, you can check and see if that person even exists in it. Okay, so we'll go back. That's that's super simple stuff, guys. Now we're going to get into the more fun stuff. We're going to actually load and this one's going to be uh this one's going to be a little bit more kind of finding a person, right? Or finding information about a person. So then we'll do profiles, profiles, and then we'll just do profiler. Okay, so now you see the profiler down there. So now we can, and you can always do show info to tell you what you need. So source, stuffy24, this is me, okay? Now, you could actually search your name if you wanted, okay? So what you're going to do is you're actually going to search names, aliases, and usernames of the character, or of the person to try and find out as much information as you want, right? So if you search just my name, and I've already done this, you're not going to get much information. Now, the main reason for that is because... It's searching for that specifically, okay? So a lot of times someone might register for their for a website. They might use like, let's say your name's John. They might use Jonathan, but if you search for John, it's not going to find it, okay? It's looking for that specific name. So you might have to do three or four of these, okay, and try and figure it out. So I went ahead and did Stuffy24 just to show you guys because I am on Twitch, and this will come up. So this, look, it runs it against all these websites, and tries to find if you have a profile on these websites, okay? Now some of these, I don't know, um, here's the problem with this, if you're looking for a common name like that Edward Cox, okay, you might have 50 of these, you don't know for sure that it's that Edward Cox, right? Because it's, now there's ways to verify that, but this, for just the basic concepts I'm trying to show you guys, this is, will, won't do that, this will tell me, now Stuffy24 is, a common name, but it's not like super common. So you can go ahead and guess that that Twitter is probably my Twitter, which it is. Okay, you can go ahead and guess that I do have a Twitch. Okay, and again, some of these um, is just because I don't have them updated. Otherwise, you wouldn't get the errors necessarily. Uh, so there's a scratch. I don't know what scratch is MIT. So someone at MIT has that name, Stuffy24. It's not me. Minecraft. I do have a Minecraft, so you can see that. Um, Kick, I, I don't think I have a kick. I don't even really know what that is. I think that's an old chatting app or something. Friend Finder, I don't know what that is either, but uh, I apparently have an account. Instagram, I do have an Instagram. So again, that's where I say some of these, it could be old profiles too. Like um, when kick was a thing back in the day, I might have made an account. I don't remember because it's 
that's the thing from like 10 years ago, I think. Um, let's see, Fiverr. I don't know what Fiverr is, but it sounds familiar, so I feel like maybe I made an account on that. Uh, I don't know. But And you can do different databases. You can search for different... So you notice this only search for what? Probably 150, maybe. Maybe 200. I didn't really look. Um, Xbox Gamer Tag. Probably should have found that, but remember at the beginning it said that I didn't have the API for Xbox. Uh, same thing with YouTube. Didn't have the API. So I, that would be where you probably need to update it to make sure that you have all the APIs installed and everything else. But you can see what it can find just off a simple, what, five-minute search. So... That's a simple one, and now we have some information to start digging on the person, right? First thing you're going to do if you're just targeting me, you're going to start looking at my Twitch. You're going to start looking at my Twitter. You're going to start seeing what you can find out about me, right? So that's simple. So now we'll go back, and you can see that that's a very easy one to do. Very simple. It gives you all the information that you want. Now for an important thing that I'm going to show you guys to do. This is this is how you would get it to your customer if you're pen testing, okay? And this is where, because you want all these to be in friendly format that someone that isn't a hacker or isn't a pen tester can understand, right? So what we're going to do is we're just going to say load reporting, okay? And it's going to ask you, okay, what kind of reporting do you want to do? Okay, well, we're going to go ahead. We're going to do it in an HTML. That's usually the easiest. Uh, you could do, depends on what the customer wants, I guess, but we're going to do rep um, reporting in HTML. So we're going to load reporting or we can just type it all one HTML okay why is it not working I can't see. oh okay did I put the wrong thing? no I didn't okay so we're just gonna say load reporting HTML. Now, I don't know why it's not actually finding it. It could be because I'm i having all these errors. We'll try something else. We can try uh, XML or something. So it's not going to let me do it. It looks like uh, it could be I just don't. I need to update this. There's a million things it could be, to be honest with you. But I had it, I had it working earlier. I'm not really sure why it's not working now, but see so let's try just load reporting again see what happens multiple modules okay so now let's try just reporting dash html yep it's not gonna work okay but anyway so that's not really that big a deal all you're gonna do is you're gonna put the format okay so when it asks you here so see how it says multiple modules matching reporting so then you're gonna load and then you're gonna say reporting so you do load, reporting HTML. Okay, for some reason it worked that time. I don't know. Uh, it looks to me like I did the exact same thing here. Oh, I put HMTL. Okay, so I'm an idiot. That's my fault. Anyway, so you can see here it's loading in. Now what you're going to do is you're going to do show options again, right? And you don't have to do this if you, if you know what you want. So you see it says you need creator, customer, okay, file name, which file name is not really a big deal. Um, and sanitize true okay so that would be if you want to obviously sanitize it important information for the customer um, so what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and say okay well we'll set the creator and we'll just say stuffy 24 is the creator okay now we'll set the customer and we'll just say let's say it was GameStop right which we know it wasn't but so now we've got the the uh, me and the customer. We can save this right here because we want that file name for later or that file path, right? Okay. And then so now we can just run this, and it reported that or it created that file. So now we can go to it. So see, we know it was in root. I don't even remember where it was now. And I could just open it to be honest with you, but so we can we can actually now that we have this saved, we can actually exit this. Okay, so we got root. And what else was it? 
root recon ng workspaces recon okay root So yeah, it's not gonna show up here, which is fine. We'll just do it this way. So it should be there, right? Permission denied. So I'd have to change the permissions and everything like that, which isn't a big deal. Uh, but that's where it'd save it at, guys. And then I'll show you what it pulls up. It's pretty simple here. I'll show you if I can get it to open for me. The Let's try and let's just do this. Okay, didn't delete it like I thought it would. Okay, so we'll just go cd root. Okay, that's why it's a hidden file, which isn't a big deal. Okay. So. Not really sure why the hidden file, but see if it'll let me in. Yeah, it's saying it's not a directory, which it is. Except for we'll just get rid of the results.html. Yeah, I know it's a directory. That's why I said CD. Did I not put CD? Man, I am all over the place, guys. I apologize. I've been super sick. Okay, there we go. So now that should be the only one in it, right? Okay, so now we'll cat results .html. Okay, and it's in it's in uh, HTML format, so I have to open it with uh, try Firefox. What was it called? Recon.html. What was it called again? Results.html. We'll see if it actually. Opens up in the correct format for us. Okay, so here we go. So as you can see, here's our report. It's got recon ng, recon report, 17 profiles found, 46 contacts found, contacts. Boom, we've got all these people from GameStop and Facebook that I actually... I stopped it most of the way through, right? And then profiles. And you can see here's all these profiles from Mark Zuckerberg and myself. And you can basically print this report out and show it to the customer and say, hey, you have 75 employees that have their information just sitting out there, right? So you need to train them and teach them to be a little bit... Uh, basically a little bit more careful to be honest with you because if if that's what's happening if you're getting this many people out there like let's say GameStop for instance right the big thing here is there's nothing you can do now that's sitting out there right so that information's there um, GameStop this means what I would say to the GameStop employee is I would take that report it would be a minor on a pen test right so I'd take it just have it with me I would try and send these people emails phishing emails or things like that and then if I did get a, a bite, you know, if they did reply or if I did get something, you know, a track or something on them, I would then take that report and take the actual what I do with the with it and take it to the customer. So you need to train your people. That's what it comes down to. So you can see how Recon NG can be a very useful tool. Um, a lot of people use Shodan as well, and I don't know if we'll cover that in this or not. But there's a ton of OSINT um, tools. But Recon NG is a very easy one to learn. You just have to learn the modules. You can get a cheat sheet. That's what I have right here is a cheat sheet of the modules. Get a cheat sheet and just use that and follow the modules. But that's it, guys. Recon NG is super simple. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. And we'll, uh, we'll keep doing this series. I hope you guys like it. Thanks.